Okay guys, today's video is it all about something I normally avoid, like the plague, French tips. Now I recently grew up my nails to try a French tip design, which I also have a video for. And before I cut them down, I am going to try out these little plates for both um, Bundle Monster and MASH before I totally write them off. So, our first one is going to be this one on the bottom here. What is this? This is two, BM216. This one on the bottom here. It's the closest that I have to a full French manicure, so I'm going to try that on, you know, this nail with um, white. On my nails, I have <laughs> a lot of stuff on right now. The most, um, the one I'm most Im impressed with is the black. It's um, Dazzle Dry's Midnight Express, and this is one coat, and it's totally opaque. I got several um, nail polishes from Dazzle Dry, and I was trying to swatch them out as well as see how they look with friendship. So as I go through, I'll tell you the names, and we'll try out these little French tips, starting, of course, with this one that I just showed you. So with this one, I'm going to use the Conad White. Oh, also, see I forget these things. I'm going to use my extra large stamper and the scraper that came with it to test out the scraper to see how good it is. And I think that the squishiness of the stamper will help me place the French manicure exactly where I want it. So we'll see how that works out. The best laid pans, right? So here we go. Turn it white. Scrape. Scrape, okay. Maybe the other side. Okay, that didn't work out too well. I'm going to try that again. I think I'm going to scrape to the side because there are so many. So it came out, you can barely see it, but I'm going to try and place my finger in the middle. See how that comes out. Well, that's how that came out. I'm just a charm, right? Over. Finally. I'm going to put that on it. Sorry. Frame. And that's how it came out. Wow, I don't even know if you can see that. Hello. Hello. Focus. So, that's what that looks like. Eh, it's alright. Next one. This is BM217, and I want to try this image on the black here. Going back to the Conad White. And there are a lot of spaces on here, so let's see how the scraper does. Not too bad. Moving it on. I don't even know if it's on there. It doesn't. It's not on there. No, well, that didn't work at all. Oh, okay. So, now we're placing it on. Coming right off. That's what that looks like. It is. It's actually quite neat. I think again, these French tips are just so long. You'd have to have extremely, extremely long nails to take advantage of them. But we'll keep going. What's next? 
Okay, so this is BM324. We're going to go with the snowflakes. We're going to put them on the blue nail right here. This blue is again from Dazzle Dry and it's called Nocturnal Blue. Dazzle Dry. Pretty, pretty blue. This is not a one coater, I will tell you that right now. So, let's see how this goes. Again, Conad White for snowflakes because that's how I feel. Using the mash draper. Damper. Oh, perfect image. You can't see that, but that's okay. I'm going to put this right in the middle. Come up. Again, these tips are so huge. They're just huge. I don't understand how. You're really supposed to take advantage of the image unless you've got artificial nails. I just I don't. Okay, this time I'm using MASH MASH 26. And I'm going to be using the polka dots right here. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about that. Right here. There, I'm going to use that on this finger, which is Dazzle Dry Hearts Caress. Really neutral color. I'm going to be stamping on it with um, Wet n Wild Black Cream. Right there. This is 99 cents, by the way. And stamps pretty well. It's not my favorite, but for trying out these things, believe me, it'll do. image and placing it on there. Wow, I lined that one up terribly, but there it is. Okay, this is BM218. I'm going to try this one right here. And I'm using it on Dazzle Dry's Cherry Parfait. There it is. It's very bright pink. We're going again with the black cream. Rolling. It came out pretty well. Let's see how this works. You see how much of the image I actually used, and again, it was still way too big. Way too big. Way too big. I think it's looking like I will not be using these ever, ever, ever again. Okay, I'm going to go back to BM217 and try this image right here because it seems to have a small image at the bottom and then the bigger image. So I'm hoping that that small image at the bottom will actually cover my nail. I'm going to go using, um, I think this is Tranquil, my middle finger, which is Tranquil Gray. There it is. Going over that with Cobalt Blue by Sally Hansen. Very bright blue. Blue and gray. Can't really mess that. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm just saying. Spray <laughs> cloth. It's ridiculously gorgeous and bright. And there it is. Perfect image. I'm going to try and put my middle finger right in the middle. Okay. Better. But still nothing awesome. Come on, focus. Focus. There it is. So yeah, nothing awesome. I wish the whole image was there, but there it is. Okay, we're going back to MASH 26. I'm going to try the stars. Where are the stars? Those are there. The stars. On this nail, which is anticipation. Yeah. 
by Dazzle Dry. It's like a gray purple color. I'm going to go over this using Presto Pink from Sally Hansen. one again. It may not even pick up. Nope. I'm totally disappointed with all of these French plates. I mean, these are smaller than the others, but jeez, it's ridiculous. Okay, one more nail to go. Okay, back to BM217, back to Conad White. I'm gonna put that over. What I have is Sally Hansen's Hard as Wraps, Hard as Nails, and Sheer Petal Gloss. It's my favorite French manicure color. We're gonna go over that with white. With the ziggy zaggy line. That's a technical term, by the way. Come on, just straight properly. And it's there. Just to get it on here. And there. Okay. Out of all of them, I think this came out the best. Not completely awesome, but I think it did come out the best. I'm trying to get it focused there. The best out of all of them. And that's how much of the image I used. I know it's very difficult to see. Okay, last, and I don't even know if it's least, back to MASH. And we're going to try this little fish type deal. Back to the white. Wow, it actually scraped. Good. It's on there. And in not. That one's actually not too bad. Not too shabby. And that was on Dazzle Dry Stolen Kiss, which was a purple metallic. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually quite pretty. Now you'll notice that these Dazzle Dry colors, they dry matte. That's okay, because they're top coated awesome and keeps their shine forever, but there they are. Nails that have been French tip, they look horrendous, I'm just saying. Um, the best ones I found were this wavy one on BM217, and what looks like fish scales on MASH 26. The Tips on mash, twin, mash are smaller, which makes me feel better, and they'll actually fit the nail, kind of. But, yeah, I'm not feeling the French tips at all. I'm just saying, there you go. Do with that what you will. I hope this helped you figure out what you want to do, how you want to do it, if you want to do them. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually did really like this, um, this tip, which I don't remember where, where it came from. It's a bundle monster. <laughs> But yeah, that's my favorite actual tip. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.